Hi, in this video I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating the Dell Dock. It is the WD19DC. In the box you get your country specific power cable and as you can see it's got this uh, kettle type plug uh, and this is for a South African market so this happens to be a red plug for emergency power as you can see it's beveled here. And you get your power supply and with the usual dull illumination on the side here as you can see this is a 240 power supply it is similar to the older generation ones um, I had one on a Dell Precision already six years old. Um, this is the newer one that comes on the Dell Precision. Those of you who are familiar with that model, you can see this one is a little bit rounded, uh, a bit more uh, and slightly smaller. Also 240 watts, but in the Dell Dock package, you're getting this one. Right here is the power supply now plugged in. You can see the illumination is only here at the connector side. You can see the power supply itself does not have any illumination. You don't know if it's on, um, but does have these nice rubber little feet here. So if it's on a surface, it doesn't move easily, which is nice. Then you, there's some reading material, the environmental and safety information, and then the main unit itself. Right, before I show you the ports, I'm just going to quickly measure this for you, just to give you an idea. This is 25 centimeters. The height is 3 centimeters, and the width is 9 centimeters. If you are familiar with the WD-15, this is the WD-15 side by side with the WD-19. Just to give you an idea, uh, the 15 is much thinner but then wider, but obviously the 19 is much longer. So we're going to look at these sides. While you're having a look at the different ports, just remember to go and get the latest drivers for your dock. They both have a rubber rising, so when it sits on the table, it sits quite firmly. If you are going to be traveling with your dock, you can see it is quite heavy, 650 grams or 1.43 pounds. And that excludes the power supply. For example, if you are going to be traveling with the power supply as well, and I'm measuring it without the country-specific power cord, because each country has got a different power cord, I'm just going to measure the power supply itself. You can see the 0.8 of a kilogram so 1.78 pounds i'm not going to go through all the features of this dell dock starting with the power button this power button replicates the power button on your laptop so if you've set your laptop to sleep when you press it then this will then activate a sleep function if you've pressed if you set your laptop to force shut down then it will force shut down so it replicates it right when you plug in the power cord as you can see there it flashes three times telling you it's getting power from the supply you have your audio headset port over here. This is a USB 3.1 and it also has power share. Here you have your type C USB port, also USB 3.1. You've got two locking mechanisms here. You can use the Kensington type or you could use the alternative. Here you have your line out to your speakers. Maybe you've got a little media center on your desk. So there that will go into the uh, line out, line in on your audio system. Here's your display port at 1.4. Display port again, 1.4. You've got your HDMI at 2.0 spec. And there you've got a multi-function port. And what this does is it's USB-C. It is also display port enabled, meaning you can stream this as a display port via USB-C. There are some limitations with this, and this is a toggle port. And I'll explain that shortly when I show you the multiple monitor setup. Right here, you've got your two USB 3.1 ports, no power share here. If you want to charge your phone, rather use the power share port. Here is the Ethernet port with illumination. If it is green, it is 10 megabits per second. If it is amber, it is 100 megabits. And if it's green and orange link lights, then you're getting your gigabit. The amber light will flash when there's activity. And then here you've got your power connector, as I've showed you, plugging in, just like over there. Now these Dell docks come in different options. This is the USB-C type. And as you can see, it's got a little magnet there. So it puts those together. And if your laptop does not have a dual USB-C port, Fine, you will just plug it in with one of these then the other USB-C becomes unused so there you go for your specifically the precision range you can use both like that this is a latitude 5490 
and on the side it's got the multifunction USB-C port and you can see it plugs in there so you won't use this one. Here I have a Dell Precision and as you can see you put those together and it slots in just like that. There is some illumination here and I'll discuss it with you now. If you're using just the one USB-C you may use the other one just as a power supply. This one can then give you a maximum of 15 watts if you want to charge your tablet or phone uh, while you're using this one for data. If the host that you connect this to has the support for video, data and power, then this little LED will come on. If the host that you're connecting it to does not support video and data and power, this LED will not shine. So that it will shine only when your host, meaning your laptop or your tablet, supports all three video, data and power. If you're going to swap the USB-C type connector for another one, all you do is you unplug it. There are two screws here, so you'll need to unscrew both these screws. You flip it round, you then slide it back like this. Slide it back and then you lift it out. There you can see the connector and there you can see how it goes in there. While I have this open, if you want to have a look inside there, you can see there's a fan and you can see at the back there, there's an air vent. So if you do hear this thing making a noise, you know what it is. It is the ventilation. To put this back, you line it up like that, you slide it and now you press in like that, flip it round and return the screws back to their original position. And just having a look at the compatibility, you'll see these are the supported laptops or notebooks that are suitable for this dock right i've now connected the dock you can see the power cable ethernet some usbs and there is display port display port hdmi on the other side i just have another usb and then the cord which goes to the laptop itself right now i'm just showing you my desktop setup and you can see i have five monitors these are all uh, 1080p actually the one on the top right is 4k but i won't be running it at 4k so these are 27 inch uh, full hd monitors i think they can all go at about 59 or 60 hertz and then on the right you see the laptop so now you get an idea of my desktop and you can see how i've set it up right now i'm running just the intel uhd graphics so you can see i've got two monitors on and then plus the laptop screen Unfortunately, it is limited to three monitors at once. So if I close the laptop screen, you'll see that one of the other monitors will then be activated. Right, so I'm going to close the laptop. All right, I just want to identify the screens for you. So if you have a look there, it says two, three, and one by the laptop. And now when I close the laptop screen, you can see what happens. I have uh, now, you can see, three, two, one. So you're limited to three monitors when you're using the Intel UHD graphics card. Now if I come here and I enable the AMD, now the AMD can handle more uh, monitors so even if I disable the uh, Intel I can disable it right now now very important for those using the AMD or the Nvidia graphics card you gotta go in the BIOS and enable a setting and there's another option here called switchable graphics and you can see that it says enable switchable graphics but right here on the right hand side it says discrete graphics controller direct output mode you need to have that enabled when you are using the dock so this will allow the display port to stream so this will allow the display port ports to stream and also the hdmi or the dvr port to stream so now I'll say apply right as soon as you've enabled that in the bios you can see suddenly all the monitors come alive and there you can see all the monitors listed so if you do not enable it you'll be uh, stuck with the dock not streaming via the display port and DVI ports. Right, so there you see the dock running with the AMD 
graphics card and AMD allows you to have multiple screens so there you can see I have four displays plus the laptop if you're wondering why the display on the top right isn't working it's merely because I haven't connected it uh, I will have make a more detailed video on how to get multiple displays working and I will probably get that uh, sixth display working and that display happens to be 4k all right so this was a video just about the Dell dock as you can see it's working so I unplug it and then uh, I plug it back in all right, there we go. It uh, did come up with an error. I'm, I'm quite used to this now. Uh, it does this quite often and it takes quite long to reposition itself. And there you can see it. It actually didn't remember the settings, unfortunately. Uh, there you can see it didn't actually remember the settings. I'll have to play around with that. But anyway, the point is, is there's the dock running. If you're wondering um, how I got that additional monitor working, even though the dock only has three ports, I'll show you. At the back of the laptop, there's actually a mini display port and you can plug directly into the mini display port as I've done the back of the laptop all right so keeping in mind monitor one two three four coming directly from the laptop and then five is the laptop itself all right so there you see the Dell dock working the last thing I'm going to show you is just the charging for your cell phone if you're going to use the dock as a charging source all right so here is the power share port and i'll unplug it and plug in my cell phone cable and there you can see the phone is charging something you should note is that my phone did not come up with the fast charge icon and just putting it over here just to see uh, it also does show a charge option so even though it doesn't say power share it's still able to provide your phone with a charge function and just to give you my experience here, when I plug in on this side, the PowerShare side, my phone says it's got one hour and 20 minutes to charge. While when I plug in on this side, my phone says it's got two hours and 37 minutes to charge. And neither of those are as fast as the quick charge that normally comes with your, your cell phone. So don't expect fast charging, although this side is probably twice as far, close to twice as fast as this side. Right, since I've only been using this for a short time, I can't give you an in-depth uh, critical review, really just showing you the features. But the first thing that I've seen that is not so good is uh, this cable here. As you can see, it leaned to the side there like that, uh, started to come out, and obviously that interfered with all my monitors. I had to put it in, and when you're using the multiple monitors, it is quite time-consuming, and uh, sometimes when you plug it back in, the monitors don't remember where they were. That is not necessarily a dull problem. That could just be the settings on the AMD uh, Catalyst software. I will attend to that but nevertheless this problem of this thing toggling like that uh, unfortunately uh, this is just a little bit flimsy in my opinion the older laptops used to dock them it literally was a plastic platform and used to depress the laptop into the dock I still like those uh, docks and uh, in my v other video when I compare this to the older generation precision I'll show you the docking of the older system all right so thanks for watching cheers